I think that business has a powerful opportunity and even responsibility to improve people's lives. On one hand, I think that the pace in which the private sector can move is much faster than the public sector and you can't compete with a hungry entrepreneur to get things done. But on the other hand, you know, private sector doesn't have the tremendous resources that are available for the public sector. So I think the combination is what creates the powerful synergies that we're seeing now, specifically as it relates to HIV prevention. We're working with intergovernment inter organizations such as the World Health Organization and UNAIDS to help achieve the goal to reach voluntary medical male circumcision for 20 million men by 2015. And we've created a device in record speed, the first device in the world, and the only device in the, in the world that can conduct non-surgical adult male circumcision. So by bringing the private sector and this amazing device to help achieve a public health goal, I think there's the, it's the ultimate win-win. At Prepex, we define forward as really how to bring the most innovative, safe, and effective technologies to help solve public health goals. I think what's really important in defining forward is staying focused on listening to what the challenges are on the ground and quickly coming up with proper solutions that help solve these burning challenges. Why did we choose this challenge? That's a great question. In fact, I think this challenge chose us and not vice versa. It was just great fortune that one of my partners sat in a lecture trying to solicit urologists and general surgeons to come to Africa to train and conduct surgical circumcisions. And he left that lecture just feeling such pain and saying there's just no way that Africa is going to meet their goal with a surgical technique. And that led him to call upon another one of my partners who is a biomedical engineer, a brilliant inventor. And he very quickly understood the problem and came up with a solution. But then it took six months of refinement talking to African officials and the Gates Foundation and talking to nurses and physicians and understanding the, the reality in resource-limited settings. And that's how we, were, we came up with the first and only device in the world for non-surgical adult male circumcision. The outcome is really the only device that is safe, simple, scalable, and cost-saving. And that is the challenge that we're trying to solve. How do you make that type of solution and innovation accessible for Africa to help them achieve their goal? Every 16 seconds, someone dies of AIDS. My company at Prepex, we can make a significant impact in changing that statistic. If that's not motivating, I really don't know what is. My recommendation is to listen to the market and to listen to the problems and to listen to the physicians and the nurses in the field because that's how this real effective solutions will emerge. Only by understanding the real problems can we come up with effective solutions.